Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants, and today we're going to be talking about automatic form creation using Bluebeam Review, uh, which is a, a favorite topic of, my, topic of mine, Excuse me, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to join us today. So before we get into the presentation, um, just some, some basic ground rules. Uh, because it's a public forum, um, everybody's uh, telephones and microphones are muted. But I do encourage, if you guys have any questions as I go through here, you can just use the uh, the chat or the question box and type them in. I'm not going to stop and address them in real time as I go, but when I get to the uh, end of the presentation, I have slotted some time just to answer any questions that come in. Um, I'll be honest, I don't expect there to be a lot of questions. This is a really simple, very straightforward process, which is what makes it so great. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of things that you can do very, very easily and get a lot of functionality out of. So with that said, let me just go here through a couple of quick slides. Right. For those of you who don't know us, who haven't worked with us before, we're Zentech Consultants, and we are pre premier Bluebeam uh, partners, but we do quite a lot more. We're Microsoft partners. We work in the civil and AEC community. We work with manufacturers uh, to help you really with all of your software development, configuration, and training needs. And we hope that you guys will take a few minutes and hit our website and see all of the really great things we can do to help your company. All right. So what are we here to talk about today? So today we're, we're really here to talk about uh, dealing with PDF forms, right? You know, one of the things that happens all the time, I get this constantly, is people will send me forms to fill out. I get it from my insurance carrier, from attorneys. I get it from, you know, uh, people who want estimates and so on. People send me forms, and those forms are what we call a static form, right? They, they've been scanned or they're just flat images with lines, right? And, and you go in to add your information and you can't. Right? You have to kind of print those out and, and do a whole, you know, jumping through 30 hoops to get those things done and filled out and sent back to somebody, right? With Bluebeam Review, no matter whether you're working with your own internal forms or if you're working with forms that someone else has sent you, right, you're able to fix that problem and give yourself in just a matter of, of you know, a couple of clicks of the mouse, a an editable PDF form with buttons and boxes and text fields and everything that you would want to have in order to fill those out, right? So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at how this actually works. So here I am, I'm in Bluebeam Review. And what I have here is an invoice. It's completely blank. And this is what we talk about when we say a static form. You can see that I can't click any values. I can't fill anything out. It's really legitimately what this one is. It's nothing more than a scan of a blank printed form. And that's a pretty common thing that we get you know, emailed to us. And someone says, hey, fill this out and send it back to me. How am I supposed to fill that out? And there's no way for me to fill it out. So what do we do? We print it, we hand fill in all the data, then we have to scan it and upload the scan and re-email it back out to people, right? What should be a 30 second process winds up taking 15, 20 minutes, right? Very, very annoying, very tedious. And it's, it's the kind of thing that guarantees you're aggravating your customers. If you are the person sending these files to your customers and your clients, Believe me, they're getting angry at you. They may not say it, but they're getting annoyed when they get these, right? So the great thing about Bluebeam right, is that it will, with a single click of the button, take this static form, right? And it will convert it into what we call a dynamic form. This is the dynamic form. I can go in, I can fill out the invoice, the date. See, I can actually type in these fields now. They're actually boxes that I can go in and I can work in, okay? with just a single click of the mouse. So how do we get from that to this? Hey, it's actually really, really easy. So what I'm gonna do here is just go up to my uh, tools dropdown inside of uh, review 19 here, right? And I'm gonna go down to the form section, right? We're dealing with forms. Now the thing to understand about this with the tools that we're talking about today in terms of the form functionality inside of Bluebeam Review, it's only available in the Bluebeam Extreme version, okay? The standard version, which is really just basic editing capabilities, doesn't have the form field functionality that we're talking about here today. So in order to do what we're presenting for you, you're going to need to either uh, have or upgrade to the extreme version of Bluebeam. So right here at the top, we just have this real simple box. It says automatically create form fields. And that's all we have to do. Right. So I'm just going to click it and show you and I'll explain to you what Bluebeam is actually doing. I just go convert it. Right now, you see right here, and this is important. That's why I, I use a scanned image. Right, it's telling you right now that there's no text detects uh, detected <laughs> text detected. There you go in this particular file because it's just a scan. It's a photo. 
of an actual form. But again, in the Bluebeam Extreme version, you have OCR, optical character recognition, right? It's a built-in tool that will take a scanned or a photographed image of text and convert it to actual text that you can use. So in this case, I'm just gonna say yes and let it convert that. You see it runs the OCR and just like that, it went in and it put in fields for me. Now, that's great, but it's not perfect yet, right? It really definitely saves me time. Now I can just hit escape. Now I can go in and I can just start filling out. You know, this is to, you know, Joe somebody, right? And it's, you know, I can put in the invoice number. It's, you know, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever my invoice is. I, I can put in my quantities, my line items, right? Whatever I need, descriptions, type in whatever I want, hit enter, right? Do whatever I need to do here, okay? So no worries, I can go in and fill out all of these forms. You see that even down here on the bottom, right, where I had the total discount, subtotal sales taxes, et cetera. Now, the only thing that's a little bit of an issue with that and why it's not perfect yet is that you notice it, it locked everything. So you see where I've got my forms palette open. So you see that everything here is text one, text two, text three. Because this was a scanned image, it didn't have text in it to begin with. It had a problem identifying what type of fields these were. So in other words, the way that Bluebeam works this is it looks for a combination of a piece of text next to a line or a box. And then it realizes, and depending on it actually reads the text and depending on what it's asking for, it can determine what type of form field you need. So I'm gonna go over here, I've got this document open. Right? And this is an actual PDF, it's not a scan. Right? It's a PDF that I created in Bluebeam. Right? It's, a, it's a request for information. And you see that there, you know, because it's an actual form, not just a scan, right? even though it's static, see there are no boxes, nothing here. Right? When I do that same process on this tool, again, I'm just going to go to my tools, forms, and automatically create my form fields. See that time it didn't come up and ask me if I needed to do an OCR recognition scan. Right? It just went in and it found all the combinations of text next to lines or text surrounded or next to boxes. And what's great about that is that when you already have the text in place before you run the field conversion, you'll see that it actually uses the text next to the line to name the box. And it does more than that. It recognizes what kind of information you're looking for. So you can see here, if I look at the format, this said today's date, it put in a date box. So if I try and go in here and I try to enter this and I want to put in Jim, Nope, it tells me that's a date field. You have to put in a date, right? Single digit, single digit four, right? So I can just go in and put, you know, uh, you know, whatever it is, I'll just put one, one, 20, right? 2020, okay? Just pick a random date, right? So you see I can put in dates there, but now I could put in from, that's a text field, okay? And you'll see that it even did things like recognizing signature fields. See, now I can apply digital signatures where I need a signature. Okay, it's a very intelligent interactive setup. So the, the thing I wanna point out there is that before you run this process, if you do have a scanned PDF, run the OCR first before you go in. And you can do that just going up under the uh, document OCR. So if you convert the text or, or, or the scanned image to have actual text in it before you run the automatic form creation, you'll get a better result. Okay, just a little something to keep in mind, right? So the great thing with that is that, you know, we're not only limited to that, Right. So it was great. It found all the boxes. It put in my responses. Now I can go in and I can type right, whatever it is I need to, to type in here with no problem. I have signatures and dates and all the other boxes. Now, if there are other features and fields and things that I need to put into this uh, particular setup, inside Bluebeam, I also have the fully developed set of tools for developing forms. I can go in and I can add radio buttons. Right? So if I want to put in you know, a button here right, and another button here and another button here, Right? And I can just put text next to those. And you see that those are actually mutually exclusive. So I can pick one or the other, not all three. Right? I can go in and I can put in uh, basic check boxes. Right? And with check boxes, right? I'll just do some kind of uh, rectangular. Right? Check boxes. See, I can select multiples to choose multiple items. Okay? I have text fields, either single line or multi line. I have drop down lists that I can create. Right? I've got buttons that I can put in place. I can create hyperlinks and create all kinds of tools. And I think it's important, you know, like I said, I really just wanted to focus on how very quickly you can go in and use that automatic creation tool. But I think that you know, the important thing to understand about Bluebeam 
uh, you know, when you're dealing with forms, I think there's a common misconception out there because Bluebeam has developed a huge reputation over the years in the construction industry, right? There is no better product out there for dealing with construction documents and large format plans and marking them up and estimating. Bluebeam does a lot, right? And over, uh, I think last time I checked, over 60% of all construction firms use Bluebeam at some level. Um, but I find that a lot of people keep Adobe as well. They keep Acrobat because they don't understand that literally anything you can do in Adobe Acrobat, you can do it in Bluebeam as well. So why are you paying for two different packages, right? Save yourself a little bit of money, go to Bluebeam. You realize that Bluebeam can handle all the form creation, the, you know, what we, we call business documentation and forms of, you know, editing specifications and reports and things like that in PDF format. Bluebeam has all those tools as well, right? And that's kind of what we wanted to show you today, how very quickly, how very simply you can just go in with a single button, take any document and just convert it into a dynamic form. Right? And at any point, you can go back if you need to modify any of these. Right? So anytime I want to modify, so say, for example, this information requested field, maybe on that one, I wanted to make that a multi-line text. It needed to be bigger. Okay, No problem. Right? I can just go over here, right? and I just have to highlight the information requested field. And I've got all of the display option properties, right? how these fields look, react, whether they're locked, read only. Right? And you see that I also have the ability down here to set different actions and triggers when I work with those, right? Or I can even go in and turn this from a single line to a multi-line text. Now I can just go in, right? Make this a bigger box, okay? At whatever size, I know it's going right through the middle of the line in my demo here, but that's all right. Hit escape to clear the editing. And now I can just go in and you see I've got a multi-line text box. And when I get to the end, it's automatically going to wrap. I can leave spaces and gaps and whatever I need, okay? So you can go back and edit and modify and change all the options, the, the um, you know, formulas, dates, formatting, right? You can have different things happen when people click in these fields. You can have read-only fields and add formulas. There's an unlimited amount of things that you can do to really build intelligent forms to make your end users' lives a lot easier with Bluebeam Review, okay? So I think with that, that's what I wanted to show you guys today, all right? So let me go back and see if we had any questions come in here today. And it looks like I only have one question for today. And it's a question from Barbara. Um, can people who don't have Bluebeam use these forms? Yes, absolutely, right? Once the forms have been created, they're using just standard, uh, you know, internationally recognized PDF formats, right? So they're editable and openable by anybody in any PDF viewer writer, okay? So whether the, P, you know, the person you send it to is using Adobe or some other third-party PDF, it's a, a, an industry standard PDF file. So all of those forms, all of the check boxes and tech boxes and everything that you put in place will be fully editable by anybody, Barbara. Okay, all right. So I think with that, I think I don't see any other questions coming in. So I'm gonna thank you guys for joining today, right? Quick and simple. Sometimes the simplest tools are the most powerful. One or two things, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, I did get another question just came in before I wind up here from Danny. Danny wants to know, which version do you need to have? The extreme version, Danny. Yeah, this there are three versions of Bluebeam. There's the, uh, the standard, the CAD, and the extreme version. All of the form editing functionality and the OCR functionality that we just talked about, those you have to have the extreme version of Bluebeam for, okay? And again, it's a very simple thing to upgrade to that. If you guys have you know standard or CAD, you can always just reach out to us, right? We're, we're a Bluebeam partner. We can help you guys upgrade. Uh, just reach out to sales at zentechconsultants.net or give a call to our, our number there up on the screen, right? Other than that, I wanna thank you guys for joining us today and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.